All right, so I am about to, okay, so I called Kroger Cash back, and they actually were so great. I was really scared because a lot of you guys have had horror stories. This guy was awesome. He looked at my account, and he was like, I'm going to give you back $10 for even just having to call in here. I'm going to give you back $10. So they gave me back $10 instead of the $4.50 I was owed. I called my insurance and took care of that. So now I am eating breakfast, <laughs> just a breakfast burrito. I'm actually going to watch, I don't know. I don't really watch these people that much, but I found them like three Christmases ago. They're called Our Landing Crew, and they do like these Christmas gift videos. I don't know why. They just, every year I want to watch it. So I'm watching it right now um, for this year's Christmas. She does this every year. She shows their Christmas gifts or whatever. Um, so let me know. Do you guys watch this channel? Um, I, I really like their Christmas videos, so I'm watching. All right, y'all. So I this is just like... Looking back, thinking like, oh my gosh, she got her kid this grocery store thing, and I remember doing this like Kosai or something, but oh my gosh, if this would have been around when I was a kid, I would have loved it, and imagine, like, if that girl was handing over some coupons, like, that would be my kid, I'd be like, giving her coupons to hand over to the pretend cashier, and raising them up young, right, but I absolutely love that, so if I... Future, my future children are going to be getting one of these. Hopefully they're still around in however many years that is. But I love, love, love that. Okay, so here is my grandma's stockpile basket. I originally had all this crammed into one basket, but I decided not to. I'm actually just going to get another bag and put this stuff in, um, like a kitchen basket or bag. And then this is just a stockpile basket. I'm giving her that. And that's the pillow. And down there is a hurricane duster thing I got for $5 on sale. So, um, yeah, that's her Christmas. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think it was a good job. So, we'll see. Okay, so I'm making the two-ingredient peanut butter fudge, which is the absolute easiest thing. So, basically, you just need a jar of frosting. And you're just going to... you. Other years I have just done it in the plastic, but I don't know, that kind of grossed me out, so I didn't do that this year. Um, I'm just going to convert it into this plastic bowl, and um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, turn it off. All right, so you are going to put the bowl of frosting in the microwave for one minute. All right, so then you're going to, like, basically just shove the peanut butter, like, scoop it out of that jar and get it into a bowl like that. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to get it all into the bowl and put it in the microwave for one minute. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the microwaved frosting and dump it into another big bowl. And you're going to do the same thing with the peanut butter. You're going to mix it up. Um, just mix it all together. The frosting and the peanut butter. Mix it very well together. And then you're going to dump it into a, um, dump it into a pan with, I use parchment paper, and you're just going to put it, you can do it in the fridge or the freezer. We should put ours in the freezer for about an hour and it was done. I know others do put it in the fridge for a couple hours and it gets done. So, however, just put it in there um, and it'll get done. And it tastes really awesome. So, love peanut butter fudge. And it tastes the same as a regular peanut butter fudge. So, awesome. Plus, it's so much easier and the cost is just so much cheaper. And if people can do it with chocolate, too, with, like, chocolate chips, so that's okay, an option. Okay, so I know it's been a long time, but we're back from Christmas um, celebration or whatever from my grandma's. And she got, she went really overboard on the gifts. I guess I see now where I get it from. <laughs> but um, these candies were basically door prizes from some games she had us do. So I won this, which I love this. I actually won something else, but my cousin's husband traded me for this. And this had way more candy in it, so, like, duh, I'm going to take that, right? Got some Russell Stover's, Three Musketeers, and Fruit Slices. And she gave us $50. And then she always, every year, I don't know why, but she always gives us a $2 bill. She thinks these are, like, the most awesome things. She just always gives us a $2 bill. Axe gift set. I love Axe so much. She definitely picked my favorite brand there. She got this emergency auto tool thing, which this is actually really, really cool. It has a tire pressure thing, which I would have been so helpful a couple days ago. A flashlight, um, a knife, plier, screwdriver, and saw blade. And you can actually apparently pop out of this, like, if you are in a car wreck and need to get out of your car. So, that's nice. She got this pocket knife, which I've, which I've never been keen on carrying a knife. But um, she thought it was important to have. So, maybe I'll keep it in my glove compartment or something. I don't know. I don't see myself carrying around a knife, but whatever. Um, she got the Apollo shirt. And she got this hoodie. 
and some butter cookies, which I absolutely love those, and then some pretzels and some popcorn. So I think she did a really good job. I and mean, I'm really, really happy with all my gifts. So thank you to my grandma. I know she's never gonna watch this because she doesn't have a computer, but thank you to her. Oh, and I forgot to say, she got me this giant yard of Twix, 18 bars in there. Oh my gosh, like that's crazy. All right, so I'm back from the Christmas gathering. That was a really good time. Like I said, uh, my grandma, I was shocked. Like she should not have got all those gifts, but I do appreciate them a lot. And I know she put a lot of thought into them. And so I really, really appreciate everything she got. And she really loved her stuff a lot. She really, really appreciated it. I could tell she loved it. So that was a really great, great time. So, um, yes. Um, let me get a chair so I can sit down. So I don't feel like I'm so formal. Um, but I'll have to move the camera down a little bit. All right, that's better. So tomorrow, um, that literally was today, the Christmas party. We were there for like four hours or something. Um, so that was great. Like I said, my grandma did some games. She loves to do stuff like that. Like Christmas bingo. She had like 10 prizes to give out. So we had to keep playing 10 rounds of bingo until we, till somebody won. But um, we did that. And then she did this other game um, where you either picked a dollar or you picked a lottery ticket that she got for a dollar. You picked one of those. So if you picked the dollar, you were guaranteed. And if you picked the lottery ticket, you didn't know what you'd get. And so I picked a lottery ticket and I didn't win. Then my aunt picked the lottery ticket. She was like right after me and she won two bucks. And so she went to the gas station and turned that in. Then she used the two dollars she got to buy two more of those dollar scratch offs. And then she won twenty dollars. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, and then we did that game. And then she did two like guess the number things. Like guess how many M&Ms are in here or something like that. So we did that. Or how many peppermint pieces and that kind of thing. Um, I think that's all the games she did. But yeah, um, she loves little games like that. As long as I can remember, we've done that. Um, and also she has me read this thing every year. So I'm, I am something she heard for, on a movie, um, a Christmas movie. And she just like loved it. And so for like the last, oh my gosh, I feel like the, my whole life we have read that. I've been the person who's read that um, for the last few years now. So just like little traditions like that. Um it's just, it's how we always have done it. So it's like nice to have those Christmas memories. So anyways, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? I am tomorrow. I thought I was done Christmas shopping. However, my dad was talking to my mom tonight about a program that they got at their work where they're supposed to adopt a senior for Christmas. And they had a bunch of openings. Like people just did not adopt a senior. And I was like, you know what? That is so sad. And I just, I don't know. I just like told myself, I want to do this. I did not get to do the angel tree for a child. And I like, I'm so sad that I didn't get to do that. Cause I did do it a couple years ago. My school did it. My class, my program did it. And we wound up all pitching in and giving two kids a really awesome Christmas. Um, but I did not get to pick a kid this year. I got caught so caught up in other gift exchange, other gift exchanges and all that kind of stuff. I didn't get to do a kid's Christmas and that really made me sad but so when I heard the seniors one of the seniors isn't gonna get Christmas I was like you know what I'm going to go out and give this person a Christmas so I picked they assigned me a name or whatever for a senior and I'm gonna make it happen so they gave a weird list and one of it is a blue cashmere sweater Where on earth would I get that? Does anybody have any? I was thinking JCPenney. I don't know. Does anybody have any ideas where I get a blue cashmere sweater? Um, no idea. That's what they asked for. So I would like to deliver, but I have no idea where I get that at. So leave me in the comments or if you're watching this on the premiere, let me know where would I get a blue cashmere sweater. So I'm thinking JCPenney is probably where I'll end up going, but I don't know. Um, what's next? I need to do some baking. I got to finish. Oh, my camera's going to fall down. This is the problem. I don't have, if you guys only saw my setup right now, I am have you guys propped up on a dresser on the, the uh, handle you pull out. Like, literally, that's what this camera's on. But it's working. So, um, I need to finish baking tomorrow. Potato candy, and um, which a lot of people call peanut butter log. But uh, around here, it's potato candy. And then I also need to do, because you use potatoes in it. 
And then the other thing, I need to make sugar cookies. Just a simple sugar cookie recipe. So I want to do that tomorrow. And then we have a Christmas outing with my mom's cousin. Um, that's tomorrow. So that's kind of just like a whatever. There's no gifts or anything for that. It's just go. Um, it's a potluck. So I'm going to do those desserts, some of them. And then I think I'm going to take a little mixture of all three. And then I think my parents are going to bring something. And my grandparents. So I don't know. We'll see that tomorrow. I don't vlog at the family outings because I'm there. I don't want to sound selfish, but I'm there. Number one, I don't think they want to be on camera. And number two, I'm there to kind of enjoy the moment. And I feel like if I'm filming the whole thing, I'm not going to enjoy the moment so much. I feel like just me coming on here and talking to you guys about what happened is more beneficial than me like whipping out my camera and filming everything, if that makes sense. So, like I said, I don't think most of those people want on camera anyways. And so that's kind of how I feel. Um, so that's tomorrow. And tomorrow's gonna be quite busy because like I, I want to shop for that person, the senior, um, because that's due like really soon. I want to bake, and then we have the outing, the Christmas party, like 5 30. So there's really not a lot of time at all, um, for anything. So I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out what happens next. So I'm really happy. Like I said, my grandma loved your gift. That was awesome. I'm so glad we did that for her. I'm really glad I went ahead and got her all that. The pillow she's excited about, um, the, uh, the broom. She actually was really excited about the hurricane broom. I don't know if I, you guys saw that, but she was excited about that. And the stockpile stuff, though, always, every year, that's what she is so pumped about. The stockpile stuff. She loves it. It's like you hand her $500. Like, seriously, she loves the stockpile stuff. So she loved the basket. I gave her a big tub. I was going to give her this laundry basket, but I just realized this would probably be harder for her. It just didn't work out. And it wasn't, it just wasn't working right. So I just went ahead and gave her a storage tub that we had on hand. And I know after all the work I did to try to find this thing, but I'm just going to keep it for us because I just am. And I don't know, maybe I'll find another purpose for it. Um, so yeah, um, but I'm really happy with how Christmas turned out. I think it was a great day. I promise tomorrow I will try to vlog more. Um, but I just love the little Christmas traditions. Like I said, the fudge. I've been making that for like four years. Reading that, pray the the little prayer thing that she heard on that movie. We've done that forever. And it's just tradition now. The game she does. It's just tradition. And like, just the little traditions. The little memories that make Christmas so awesome. So yeah, that's all that I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching.